If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com, and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi, Leo. I'm Pam, and welcome to your psychic tarot reading for May 2017. This month, I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Connolly tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings, and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Leo Sun, Leo Ascendant, and Leo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, now on to your reading for May 2017. The first card you have here, Leo, is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords can mean something being blocked, something being stopped, or a stalemate about something. I feel like there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, Leo, that you don't know about right now. And you may be working on some kind of project very slowly, and I get from the inside out. So for them to tell me that, I feel like if the normal way of doing things is from point A to B to C, I feel like you're starting at B and working outward for some reason and whatever this is. It could be writing a book. It could be creating some kind of new program for sale, like some video instruction. Uh, it could also be some kind of program maybe that you're going to sell to people online or uh, through a webinar, or it could also be at your place of, uh, you know, where you work. <clears throat> Maybe it's something that you're working on from the inside out that's going to get instituted and used at a business or a company that you work for. It could also be that. I feel like you're getting all these ideas and inspirations, and I feel that you're picking them up from all kinds of different things. It could be from if you believe in spirit guides and angels or deceased loved ones communicating with you, it could be coming to you through them. It could also be coming through signs. If you believe in animal totems and animal messages or even through your own pets, um, I get what uh, maybe people you know or work for or work with and, or you're overhearing conversations and these are all giving you like, I feel like you're... Um, the well runs over for you. Cup, the cup runneth over for you of ideas and inspirations this May of 2017. And I feel that's awesome for you because all of that is going to lead to some kind of gain, whether it's financial increase or more uh, recognition or, you know, promotions from, you know, employers in some way, what you're, whatever it is you're doing is going to benefit you in a multitude of ways moving forward. There's a fly in here and it's freezing. So I find that unbelievable. Hopefully he won't fly into the frame, but he might. I do feel that you're doing your best to keep something all together and there may be some kind of secrets you don't want to leak out. It could be like what you're doing on or working on. Like you may not want it to get out into the public or you like you don't you want to unveil what you're doing, working on, thinking or creating or saying. You don't want it to get out and you know ahead of time. Maybe you're composing a song or you're writing poetry or creating a great novel or something like that. I do feel that Leos are going to be feeling like they have to concede to the compliance of law. 
So if you are do going through any legal channels through anything you're doing, I feel like you're going to have to follow through the protocol, the, the steps that also comes up here with this card. Next card you have is Eight of Pentacles, and this is a card to me of the apprentice. It can also be uh, mastering your craft. Uh, ex I'm sorry. it's the, the card of the apprentice is really um, expanding your, yeah, it is mastering your craft, learning a skill, starting a new job, starting a new business, um, or a new enterprise of some sort, um, or, and gaining some financial gains from what you're doing. I do feel whatever you're going to do, you're going to have a lot of people pounding on your door or clamoring to you about it. They're going to want it. So if it's something you're releasing to the public, like a YouTube video or uh, a video for sale or a book or whatever it is, you've got all these people that are going to come right at you about it. It's not going to be hard for you to get this, whatever this is, off the ground or to sell at all. It's not going to be difficult at all. You're going to have like a ready-made audience or people that are going to love it or be really jumping on it for some reason Leo that comes up in May 2017. I feel that someone's going to give you a boost or a leg up financially speaking and somebody may also be wanting to promote you so uh, or promote your project or promote your show or promote your plan there's somebody that wants to step in here and do promotion for you or work with you it could be an agent but this could be you know not through traditional means either i feel many of you leos are going to get invited to attend a large social gathering for some of you this could be a wedding it could be an engagement party it could be a christening uh, or a big celebration or a birthday party or a bash of some kind. There could be noteworthy people there too. For some of you, it's just fun and social. But for some of you, Leos, there's connections to be made at this event. Networking and connections is going to be important for you to go and attend and look your best and put your shining sun light of Leo out there forward. You want to be beaming like the sun at this event and I know that you're going to be anyway but it does come up here that that would be wise <laughs> I do feel um, I'm hearing lasting impressions and um, you getting like recognized and having people come up to you and speak to you like congratulating you or positively talking to you positively shaking your hand knowing who you are um, I see that for a lot of Leos at this gathering. I also feel either in the month of May or possibly in late June, you signing some kind of contract or deal, making some kind of contract or deal. Um, it's, it's like I do feel it's legal, a legally binding contract. This is going to start some ball rolling for many of you Leos or some process. Now, if you're not making a legally binding contract, it could be some other kind of paper or document that's important that will come up for Leos that's not necessarily legal. But for some of you, I definitely see it as a legally binding paper or contract. Next card you have is Page of Wands. This could be you because this is a fire sign person, either being a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. Could be a child. Pages are often children, but adults come up as pages all the time. If it's not a person, this page could be delivering you a message about work or communications or business in some way, or growth and expansion of something. Some of you may write a book that could be like your biography, some of you might be doing that or telling your story in some way, even on film, on YouTube, on TV, on video. I know there's no video anymore, but you know what I mean. Um, on captured, on uh, digitally captured, let's put it that way. Some of you may be putting something together that would be considered trailblazing. So you may come up with some new method methodologies for things or new insights that maybe people haven't considered before that may have seri serious spiritual or cosmic and or planetary implications or universal uh, implications here uh, that seems like innovative, groundbreaking, uh, 
noteworthy, uh, people paying attention to it. That also comes up here through this page of wands. So in your reading, this page of wands really does feel like it's you. Someone's going to like your whole deal, uh, like who you are, how you present yourself, and they could offer you a deal, a position, a, a job, a raise, like somebody's offering you something. You know, you're not the first sign to get that. That's happening a lot for some of the signs this month, and I have done half of them at this point. So that's, and I'm not doing them all on the same day. I, I've done them on two different days so far, and I've got two more days of doing them. So doing these videos. So uh, that's come up quite a bit for me for people. Some of you may go on an exotic travel and go away uh, to like an island or some tropical resort of some sort for a couple of days that comes up for some of you. I also pick up jealousy and envy for some of you <coughs> directed at you. There may be some people that work with you or know you or are in the same field as you and they be, may be a little jealous or envious of you in May. So just keep that in mind. You could start broadcasting yourself uh, doing podcasts. You could also be getting ready to do classes, uh, seminars, webinars. Um, doing demonstrations also comes up. There's a lot of activity around you in May. And I feel you're going through a lot of changes. It really does come up strongly like you are going to be sharing or displaying some kind of wisdom to the world or people in your world because it comes up like you uh, displaying wisdom. So that comes up here. So the next card you have is the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands is being prepared and ready for battle. It can also be uh, you being suspicious of someone. That's also possible here. I do see you counting your blessings and being thankful for what you have in May. I do feel some of you maybe would like to retire early and uh, make as much money while you can and put it away and make it grow. So when you get a little older than, you know, your age or when you're elderly or whatever, you don't even have to be old. Like just wanting to retire early and being able to travel and to uh, relax or do some things that maybe, you know, you might be too busy to do right now. But I do see that on your mind for some of you Leos. I do feel you would reap the benefits very strongly from any classes that you take in May or any classes and instruction that you give in May. Either way, it's very uh, a very good time for that for you, very wise and beneficial <clears throat> for the Leos in May. If there's any judgment that comes up against you, that seems like real strong, clear, and harsh, I feel that you're going to be able to overthrow it or overcome it. So if there's any legal case or legal battle where something comes up and the judgment didn't flow the way that you wanted it to, I feel like you can overthrow that judgment, which sounds odd, but I feel, you know, you might have to appeal it or maybe something shifts drastically and changes it, but I get that you're going to be able to overthrow it in some way. You may have somebody in your life that you know that's been going through troubles or sufferings with throat cancer or lung cancer or both. Uh, but I, I don't know that they've passed away. I feel like it's someone you know. is uh, It's around you. I don't feel it's you. This feels to me like a relative or could be a close friend, but it really feels like a relative. Um, and for some reason, maybe you're focusing on that in May, but they're mentioning it for May. So maybe they're having some troubles in the month of May. I feel your powers of persuasion are going to be very strong in May. And I feel there may be some people that you convince to come along for the ride. If there's something that you're starting, a new job, a new business, a new project, it feels like a new business or some venture, 
I feel that you're going to be able to, like, if you need partners or if you need backing or you need people to come along and go along, maybe you're starting a YouTube channel and you want YouTube followers and subscribers, that you're going to be able to get them to do that, like coaxing them along comes up here. <clears throat> with So I didn't see any battles here really for you except for maybe the the legal issue if you get a judgment that you don't like I or that feels harsh or strict I feel you're going to be able to overturn it your last card here in the reading is the page of swords and this could be a uh, usually it would be an air sign person this would either be an Aquarius Gemini or Libra Sun sign rising sign or moon sign could be a child it's a page but it could also be adults they come up as pages all the time too and this would be um, if it's not the, a person for you, it could be a bringing in a message of um, about truth, about truth, either being truthful or not or untruths, either way, <clears throat> and information. You're going to start to work with them, or you're going to do something differently with them than you ever did before. You've got your eye on them, and you also, some of you feel like there's a lot of things that they either could do for you or need to do for you. So, wow, this Page of Swords is coming up as so many different people to me. In some regards, I think feel like they're uh, a, a love to you or a potential love. In some regards, I also feel this is somebody that could work with you or for you. And in other regards, in the third sense, it feels like it could be somebody connected to you through relation. So I, it's going to be different for all of you who this is for you, Leos. But some of, for some of you, this Page of Swords has a lot on their plate. And there's a lot of things they need to sort out right now in May. They could all also be doing things differently than they ever did before. And they could be changing things that they're doing. So... Wow, you need to listen to this Page of Swords again. I feel like you have simpatico with this Page of Swords, like a cohort, simpatico. You're either going through a lot of things with this Page of Swords in May, or there's a lot to do on your plate together with this Page of Swords in May, because it comes up that way, <clears throat> both ways. You may be working with them because I get, I hear it drilling down to what it is you're going to do, how you're going to map things out, how you're going to work things out. So this may be somebody that you're starting a business with or having a business partnership with, and you have to drill down and get to like, what's the methods or protocols that you're going to use or business plan or something like that. That's the case for some of you. Um, <clears throat> for some of you, there may be some traumatic things going on with this Page of Swords uh, and waves of indignation and other things like that could be circling around or happening for them. <clears throat> but that's not going to be the case for all of you with this Page of Swords. This could be your, your son or your daughter. Maybe they got fired or they're in college or something's not going right in their life and they feel like they're being treated unfairly or overlooked. Because I'm getting, I'm getting indignation and feeling like uh, they feel either looked over, forgotten about, or treated unfairly <clears throat> in some way and that they have a lot going on with them. But that's not the case for all of you with this Page of Swords. For some of you, your situations are different where this is somebody that could be a business partner for you or somebody that you have to work with and you have to put out. Uh, ideas together or plans together with them for some of you so this and then for others if it's a love relationship you may be feeling like there's something they need to do with you or for you uh, so you just have to figure out who this is I can't pinpoint it there's too many Leos out there <clears throat> so I hope it'll make sense to you Leos you can let me know if you understand that because when these people cards come up, they often represent multiple uh, people. They don't, they're not going to just be one person. So hopefully it made sense to you. So I hope this reading was helpful. I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. 
Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to su subscribe. That way you'll get notified when my videos get posted on YouTube. And Leo, if you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal for you and get additional messages from my spirit guides for the month of May 2017, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the description box in the show more section. And it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for May 2017 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. <clears throat> you can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page 9 and there you will see the heading for these crystal readings. You click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. Also, if you're interested in getting the Sacred Geometry Oracle card reading that I did last month, but it was for the whole month of the for the whole year of 2017, you can also access those videos on Vimeo as well. They were spiritual messages. There was some predictions there, but it was more of a spiritual nature. So you may be interested in checking them out. So I hope you have a marvelous month of May. Leo, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.